Hello and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. Uh, the Lord has called us to live supernatural lives and it's a joy to follow Him and be a follower of the Lord Jesus. Um, today we are looking at uh, and responding to the cry, Help! I've lost my peace. You know, peace is a wonderful, um, a wonderful characteristic and, and a quality. Um, peace means tranquility, harmony and lack of disturbance. It's, uh, so to have peace of mind is, is a wonderful thing. And, uh, and what we, when, we, when we look at the word, when we walk with the Lord, the Lord Jesus actually promises His peace. Let's read from John chapter 14 and verse 27. The Lord Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So, the Lord Jesus promises His peace, the quality or the kind of peace that He Himself has, which is uh, something that He possesses, that He is choosing to give to us. He's promising to give to us. In fact, He is called the Prince of Peace. That's one of the titles of the Lord Jesus. So, He gives this kind of peace, uh, the kind of peace that He Himself walked in while on the earth, which enabled Him to literally sleep in the middle of a storm. Right, when he was in the boat with the, with the disciples and, and crossing that, uh, that sea and, and he literally slept. Uh, and that's the kind of peace that he's offering to give us. And that's the kind of peace that we have, the Holy Spirit develops in us. And we read here in Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5 verses 20, 22, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and, and so on. We, we, we go through it. So, uh, the, the, the kind of peace that God gives us, the Lord gives us, is also the fruit, a progressive, ongoing uh, result of the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts, in our lives. So why do we lose this kind of peace? You know, if the Lord is promising, our, if He's giving it, why do we lose it? You know, why does it get over? Why does it get overshadowed by so many other things? Okay, uh, first thing is that it is, it is overshadowed by fear. The noise of fear is sometimes louder than the voice of faith. Right? And uh, we allow that to happen. Um, the Lord Jesus was asleep. He was with the disciples. Uh, and in that storm, the disciples were fearful. They were so preoccupied. Uh, by worry, they were so preoccupied by, uh, uh, by fear and so fear overshadowed the peace uh, and the presence of the Lord with them. Um, fear is also over, uh, peace is also overshadowed by our, our own carnal mind and its thoughts. Because the Word of God is very clear, it says that the carnal mind cannot please God, is not obedient to God. So it, it's in direct conflict with the peace of God. So it's time to reclaim our peace. It's time to uh, go after, pursue and, and let this uh, God kind of peace be restored into our lives. Uh, Isaiah 26 and verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. So that's one of the things that we can do uh, for our thoughts to be on him for our mind to be stayed on the Lord Jesus in His presence, in His word, in His promises. Secondly, we see that uh, Galatians 1 and verse 16 says, Walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now the flesh lusts against the Spirit, against the work of the Spirit. And the work of the Spirit, the fruit of it is peace. It's, it's the fruit of the Spirit. So the flesh for confronts and struggles and tries to overshadow the work of the Spirit. So when we put to death the works of the flesh, when we walk in the Spirit, when we, when we, when we are prompted, when we live our lives guided by the Holy Spirit, then we will not allow um, it to overshadow our peace. Finally, uh, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known to God. And the promise is that the peace of God will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So today, it's time to reclaim that peace and walk in that peace. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you 
Lord, we, we thank you that you are the Prince of Peace and we pray today for those of us who are saying, help, I've lost my peace. I do not have this peace of mind. Lord, we pray that uh, this peace that you have given us, uh, you have given us, you have, that it is our inheritance. It is our privilege to walk in that peace. And Lord, I pray that uh, we will reclaim that peace, that our minds will be on you so that you can keep us in that place of perfect peace. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.